Different ESL online companies may have different standards, but one thing is for sure: student satisfaction is a top priority, and that they want their tutors to maximize teaching potentials. And in order to maintain that, tutors are monitored and gauged based on their abilities and capabilities of handling classes. Of course, through QA scores. So here are some simple steps to maintain a high QA score, or even as a demo lesson. Start with a warm greeting and a simple introduction. Hello. Good morning. Yes. Good morning, teacher. My name is Julia. What's your name? My name. Mr. Lee. Oh, hi there, Mr. Lee. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Teacher Julia. Number two, introduce the lesson with a proper transition. By the way, our lesson for today is about travel. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Number three, immediately proceed to the lesson. All right. Kindly read the words on page two. Airport, reservation, hotel, vacation, tour, and destination. Number four. Correct the student's mistakes in a proper way. You may let your student repeat your corrections twice, but not too many times. Anyway, you can give more emphasis during the recap. Thank you, Mr. Lee. But this time we're going to work more on your R sound. So kindly repeat after me. Airport. Airport. One more time. Airport. Airport. That's better. Number five. Don't forget to give your student a clear instruction. All right. This time, let's go to page three. Can you see page three, Mr. Lee? Yes. All right. We will read a dialogue. You will be John. I'll be Lily. Let's start. Where are you going? I'll travel to the Philippines. I be, I be in there before. Oh, really? I went to Cebu. Cebu is also my destination. Great! You can find nice hotel there. Thank you, John. By the way, I need to go now to the airport. Bye. Take care, Lily. Number six. Never correct the student in the middle of the dialogue. Let him finish his part. Then proceed to corrections or any suggestions. Also, acknowledge their strong points. Wow, that was great, Mister Lee. You did your part well. But before we we talk about the dialogue, let's practice some of the words you mispronounced. Okay? Yes. Okay, please repeat after me, Lily. Hello, Mr. Lee. Yes. Uh, just repeat after me, Lily. Lily. One more time, Lily. Lily. Okay, that's better. Cebu. Cebu. Again, please, Cebu. Cebu. Okay, that was good. Before. Before. Care. Care. Again, care. Care. All right, that that was a good try. So, let's have your intonation also, or let's practice your intonation. Okay, just repeat after me again. Where are you going? Where are you going? Mmm, that was good. Another one. 
I went to Cebu. I went to Cebu. Take care, Lily. Take care, Lily. One more time. Take care, Lily. Take care, Lily. All right. Number eight. Proceed to comprehension questions. All right, Mr. Lee, we need now to go to comprehension questions. Kindly go to page four. Are you ready? Yes. All right, number one. Where is Lily going? Cebu, Philippines. Yes, that's correct. But you have to say it in a sentence, okay? Just repeat after me. Lily is going to Cebu, Philippines. Lily is going to Cebu, Philippines. Okay, one more time. Philippines. Philippines. Okay. Number two. Did John go to Cebu? Did John go to Cebu? Uh, I mean the 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 answer. That's my question. That's the that's the comprehension question number two. Okay, please answer this. Did John go to Cebu? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. He went to Cebu before, right? Yes. Okay. So your answer must be, yes, he did. Yes, he did. 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 Okay. That's right. And the last question, how does John like the Philippines? How? Mm -hmm. It means, um, does he like the Philippines or not? Yes, he, he likes Philippines. Okay, good try. Just use the singular verb, likes. He likes... He likes... The Philippines. The Philippines. Okay, one more time. He likes the Philippines. He likes the Philippines. Yes. All right, we're done. We're done with comprehension questions. Number nine, make some follow-up questions. Yes, but I'd like to ask some more questions from you. Is it okay? Yes. What about you? Have you been to the Philippines, Mr. Lee? No. Oh, not yet. Okay, but have you been to other countries already? Yes, in China. Oh, you went to China. Okay, can you say that again? I went to China. I went to China. All right. So, how do you like China? It's a nice place. Number 10. Give your student ample time to think and express himself, but avoid dead air. Okay. But why? Why do you think it's nice? Uh, for um, many um, fruits. Oh, you mean there are a lot of fruits in uh, China? Yeah. Okay, so you can say it this way. There are a lot of fruits in China. There are a lot of fruits in China. Okay, I see. So, next time, where do you want to travel? I'm trying in Philippines, teacher. Okay, again, please. I want to travel to the Philippines. I want to travel in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. To the Philippines. To the Philippines. Okay. Number 11. Always utilize your chat box. Oh, by the way, I will write my corrections, okay, in your chat box. Okay, okay. let's do it again. I will write. I will write. Oh, I'm so, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. It should be, I will travel to the Philippines. I will travel to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Again, your intonation. I will travel to the Philippines. I will travel to the Philippines someday. 
Oh, okay, that's better. <laughs> All right. Remember not to end the class without proper recap or review. This part here is so crucial since you only have one to two minutes to end the class on time. And one more thing, this is also the chance for you to remind the students of his weak points and of course acknowledge his strong points. All right, Mr. Lee, I think we are running out of time now, so we need to have a recap or a review. Yes, teacher. Okay, we talked about travel. Again, I just want you to always answer in a sentence. Yes. All right, so you have to practice that. Also, you have to work more on your R sound, especially for the word airport. Airport. One more time, please. Airport. Okay, that's better, Mr. Lee. Um, anyway, you actually have a very good comprehension skill. Congratulations on that. Really? Thank you, teacher. Yes, and not only that, you really tried to follow my suggestions and corrections. Thank you. Thank you again, teacher. And the last but not the least, end the class properly. That's all for today, Mr. Lee. I need to go now. Let's practice again next time, okay? Yes. All right. Goodbye, Mr. Lee. Goodbye, teacher. That's all for now. Please don't forget to like and share this video. And you may also subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell button for more upcoming videos. Thank you.